In this video we will be learning about past tense. For knowing about past tense first we have to discuss about verbs. What are verbs? Verbs are action words. Here are some examples like love, run, jump or you can say cook, hop, so verb are the action words in a sentence that describe what the subject is doing along with nouns verbs are the main part of a sentence now let's discuss about what is past tense in grammar the definition of past tense is a tense that signals an actions or event that occurred so the past tense is a verb tense used for a past activity or a past state of being for example i jumped in the lake this is a past activity jumped add ed in a present tense jump the verbs in our sentence change when we talk about what has already happened you can see on a right and a left side the present verb and a past verb i walked to school i walked to school add ed the another example is i cooked the food now the cook has been changed in cooked i cooked the food the third example is i watched the movie now the watch is changed i watched the movie add ed so when we talk about past verb we have to discuss about the regular and irregular verbs let's discuss about it what are regular verbs and irregular verbs so regular verbs follow the same pattern and create the past simple and the past participle using the same word ending ed like you can see in the examples talk is going to change in talked walk walk smoke became smoked and now clean is changed into cleaned so you can see we have added ed in the verb let's discuss about irregular verbs verbs that have different endings and these are called irregular verbs irregular verbs change completely talk about what happened yesterday we use the past tense irregular verbs change completely how it looks let's discuss about it so you can see in this slide how irregular verbs change completely for example go became went eat became ate and do is now did so remember these point in regular verbs we have added ed in the present verb but when we are talking about irregular verbs the present verb is completely changed the spellings are changed let's discuss about some irregular verb now you will think about what will be the verb what will be the past irregular verb like you can see run so what will be the past verb of the run yes think about so the run is changed into ran the spelling is completely changed r a n ran so run is present and ran is past next verb is catch so think about it what will be the past verb of catch yes what will be the spelling 
the spelling will be C A U G H T caught so catch is present irregular verb and the past verb of catch would be caught C A U G H T catch caught the next verb is speak s p e a k speak remember this we will not add ed in speak because it is irregular verb and irregular verb completely changed like the speak will become spoke and the spelling will be s p o k e spoke speak is present and the past irregular verb of speak would be spoke now the next verb is sleep s l w e p it is also an irregular verb so think about it what will be the spelling of sleep yes the sleep will change into slept the past verb of sleep will be slept s l e p t sleep slept the next word is swim s w i m it is also irregular verb and the spelling of swim will be changed into swam s w a m swam swim is present verb and the swam will be the past verb so these are the irregular verbs Let's discuss about regular verbs. As we have discussed it earlier, regular past simple forms are formed by adding ed to the infinitive of the verb, like start, started, kill, killed, jump, jumped. That seem easy. but there are some spelling rules that we have to remember this let's discuss about that rules as we know about it all regular verbs add ed in simple past tense like he baked a pizza last night baked we have added ed in the verb let's discuss about some rules of irregular verbs The first rule is when a regular verb add in consonant plus add y so y is changed into i e d look at the example d r y dry the consonant r and then y the y will be omitted and we will be add i e d instead of y dry will be changed into dried and cry will be changed into cried the another rule is a regular verb has one syllable and end in the rule will be consonant plus vowel plus consonant the final consonant is doubled before adding ed to form the simple past tense like mop m consonant o vowel and p is consonant mop so mop will be mobbed m o w p e d let's take more examples remember this if the verbs that ends at w or y the rules will be totally changed look at this example he jogged yesterday's morning j o g consonant plus vowel plus consonant then we are adding again g double g e d jogged the last consonant will be doubled if the word depend on this rule consonant plus vowel plus consonant Now the next example is look at the picture. I washed my car last Sunday. Washed. Now look at this picture. Which verb will come and what will be the spelling? 
here will be that rule apply the consonant plus vowel plus consonant the consonant will be doubled c h o p p e d chopped we chopped firewood last winter so keep remember the rules of past verb when you are going to make a verb like irregular verbs or regular verbs